Hey, what's going on, y'all? So, we up this morning, and um, nice, cool, crisp morning. Forgive me, because I'm walking on these rocks. God, I already twist my ankle. It's over. Well, anyway, so I'm just, you know, I told you guys I wanted some people that I wanted to start vlogging. And I wanted to start vlogging um, my life and the things that's going on in it. And the reason why is because I feel like my life is important enough to be documented. I feel like that my life is important enough and the, and the things that Christ is doing, doing for me and showing me in my life is something important. You know, you know, and <clears throat> by me saying, hey, that my life is important. Let me walk around with, hold on. Uh, me saying that my life is important. There's nothing about me, but I believe and I know that the things that Christ has shown me in this life, in this life and is doing for me in this life is bringing, um, is bringing joy, is bringing joy, um, joy to it. Cut people looking at me all crazy. So anyway, it's bringing joy to my life and it's showing me that Yo, man, the things that you suffered, the things that you overcame, you know, God did it. But it's showing me that I, it, I, I can, it, it can be an inspiration to someone else. A lot of people feel like, um, you know, I can't overcome certain sins. Well, I feel like if I start vlogging and I start sharing you guys moments, recording, documenting thoughts that came to mind in the heat of the moment, and... Um, and, and giving you my testimonies and revelations, and you will begin to say, see to say to yourself, yo, if that brother can do it, do him, you know, then I can do it. And um, and you know, I will, I will, I will share personal thoughts. I will share personal things that has happened in the past. I will share um my mentality, and people gonna judge. Let them judge. You know what I'm saying? It's not about worrying about what people gonna say. I'm, I could care less. But what I'm more concerned about is someone saying, you know what, I've been through the same situation or I'm going through something or, dog, I thought my situation was bad. And if that brother can overcome through Christ and God can see him through his situation and I know he can see him through mine. So that is the point of me vlogging. And you know, I stream, I stream and I do YouTube videos. And stuff. I'm tripping, man. I thought a bush, I thought someone was crawling up my leg, but it was a bush. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I just want to uh, share with you, show you guys that it's possible. So anyway, you, um, you, you, it's not like you unfamiliar with me, um, I'm, you know, so just stay tuned, stay posted. Hey, peace and God bless. And um, I guess this, this will be the beginning of uh, uh, number, episode. Systems all work in harmony together to keep you alive. This is what we're going to begin to study in the Health Reform Chronicles. We're going to understand the anatomy of the body. We're going to understand physiology. I'm taking you to class. And when you're outside of class, do your own homework. Amen? Amen. God's people are one. But we are a half of a person because we don't understand the health reform. And this is the, the attack of the enemy to keep your mind sluggish, numb, that you won't understand physiology. That you won't understand your God and your creator. When you understand the properties and members of the body and how they operate, you will begin to eat healthy. Anyway. Now we just left church. I had like recorded like a whole bunch of footage and then went recording to this this little girl told me that I won't record him. Anyway, you know, service was good like I was talking about earlier. Service was good and uh whatnot. So <laughs> we leaving now. Uh my sister Tanya brought me, but now I gotta wait for this old lady of mine to come pick me up. Pick good boy, she almost hit that truck. But it's all good. Hey listen man, God was good. Y'all catch some of the snippets that was on Instagram. 
we did a live live Facebook man God was showing us today about health man by having our getting our sale um our sales keeping our sales up because you want to keep your get your on um, your sales man and, and keep having your immune system good which you know um helps with uh um fighting off cancer service over. yes ma'am service over it's my sister tanya hey tanya hey. see this this is my home girl the man see me and tanya before bars had soap before oats had meal it was me and tanya we go way back and when peanut and butter got together with jelly we just departed exact <laughs> exact she sure did she ain't lying either can i spend a night see i'm talking about anyway let's i don't know what i want to do I know it's gonna be a long weekend. But anyway, I was sitting back and I was saying to uh I was just sitting back thinking, I said, man, what to do, what to do. Um I know I was last talking about service, man. You just gotta be careful, man. I just gotta be careful, man. I'm thinking about some things. How the enemy always try to come and try to distract your mind. I gotta hold it, give me a better camera. Enemy always coming to try to distract your mind from things, so we gotta we gotta stay focused, man. One thing we can't do is be bitter. Can't be bitter and um and let things distract you. Alright? Um now was the time we gotta call on grace. I know the enemy try to distract my mind from things. Um even at this moment, every the moment I'm making this video, um, to distract my mind from things that is unrighteous. And so I know that in the time of this weakness, this is where I need to ask for prayer and go, go um, and not dwell on thoughts. And so this is, you know, like I was telling us earlier, man. Hey, we got to know what we're going to have to not dwell on thoughts, give our lives over to the Lord, and lean on His grace for um, power and understanding. Anyway, I'm signing off. I'll get you back later.